Happy birthday. Born on the 16th of November. This is a birthday that is going to travel the world, going to migrate, going to be with foreign people settling down with, going to be with people of another race. It's a very adventurous, very exciting day that you were born, 16th of November. And you're going to have the possibility of having gifts like singing. The power of sound is with you. And so you identify music, you identify sounds, you can play musical instruments very easily. I find many artists who are singers and dancers have this kind of born on the 16th of November. You'll have imagination, you'll have creativity. And you'll be a person who can go into the business of beauty, into the business of food and beverage and apply all this talent you have to show your creativity levels which will be very high. You will be a person who can excel in, even in business because you will have some kind of intuition which will tell you how to apply it into areas of business as well. But there are also problems. There's the danger that the, the, the calendar year 2018 is going to turn against you. Now, a calendar year is our foundation. Everybody in the world has to go into 2018. For some, the foundation will be strong and good. For some, it will be weak. For you, it's going to be troublesome because the planets who rule, who control 2018 are not very steady for you. They turn against you, born on the 16th of November. Why? Because these planets will not be agreeable. So whatever you try to do in 2018, they will throw obstacles, they will throw hurdles. Don't give up because you always remind yourself that you control your horoscope. Your horoscope is a plan. When you were born, a plan has to be given to you and that is your horoscope. Otherwise, you will be running about aimlessly in the world. But you can control your horoscope when you listen to people like me, when you listen to astrologers and palmists. So get ready for a difficult 2018, which can go up to about 40, 45, 50% and start to be prepared. I'm going to use certain ages as example to show you of, the, of certain ages who can attract the most problems, certain ages who can extract, who can attract a lot of help. Now, if you happen to be the ages of 16 or 25 or 34 or 43, or 52, or 61, or 70, or 79. Be very careful. Don't go near the sea. That's my advice to you. The sea will produce plenty of difficulties and problems for you. Even journeys on land, you have to be very careful in 2018. Accidents can take place, or disappointments, or mishaps of something can be seen. And if you are of these ages which I've just mentioned, be careful that your area of job and business is not going to be the best. You are going to attract difficulties which come unexpectedly and suddenly. So be extra prepared if you are especially going to new areas of business or changing a job or things like that. Your job wise, you are going to feel there are enemies where you work who are undermining you. This can also happen. And in your job area, you will find that you just cannot get along with people. And so there will be disappointments waiting there as well. In marriage and in love affairs, you will have the danger of being let down and disappointed one way or another. And so you have to, don't give up, don't look at the extreme side. Agree that all these things can happen, be prepared, look at the weaknesses in your life, which areas they are the most, try to get that ready. And that's the way when you approach a calendar year that's going to be difficult for you. I'm going to give you another sample of ages which are, if you are, you're going to be very lucky and you're going to beat the odds and you're going to do well in 2018. If you happen to be the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58 or 67 or 76 in 2018 or you may already have done that in this November, then you're going to be very, very lucky. Lucky in the sense that although the foundation of 2018 is going to be very difficult, yet you will have the good energy from a few of your good planets to try and get you through in one piece, to try and get you through to taste success of some kind or another, to try and get you through into finding some happiness or another. So total downwards will not be seen for you. 
So you'll be lucky in that way. All those who are, I have not mentioned the ages are the middle ages. You'll have the ups, you'll have the downs. It's all up to you depending on what age you are. Only way to know would be to one day have a consultation with me. It's going to cost you USD 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And that will be based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms and face reading you and using Kabbalistic Tarot if you want as well. Leave me a message on Skype, leave me a message on Facebook, on email and I'll come back to you. Now I want to go on to talk to you a bit about your character compatibility. You are a person who is very flexible and you are a person who can easily get along with other people. You make a lot of attempts to do that. And you are also a person who has the compatibility in sport or in other areas. That's because you are led by some water planets. And these water planets make you very flexible in whatever you do. So that's a plus point for you. What you attract in romance, what you attract that can become marriage, you have to be careful. You seem to be attracted to complications in a romance. They come for you somehow or another. It's not that you really look for them, but you attract them because of your behavior or because of your taste of the person that you want. So you'll have to do a lot of background checks on a person. Don't, don't give yourself away too easily with all the nice promises. You are a very emotional horoscope. And so when people talk to you nicely about you and flatter you and make you the center of the universe, you just crumble and you fall. So for 2018, you've got to harden up a bit. Otherwise, you're going to regret it. In area of business and finances, you're going to have ups and downs, whatever age you are. If you are the better ages, you'll, you'll somehow manage it. If you are not, then you're going to be from job to job, wandering around from business to business, looking at help. And even in personal affairs, you're going to have your really ups and downs in 2018. There's a group of planets in 2018, very powerful. And for people born on the 16th of November, they are attracted, the planets of this calendar year are attracted to the planets of those born on the 16th of November. And all that is for a negative reason. So be very cautious of that. Now, regarding your health, for, two, for 2018, all I, all I know is that you are born on the 16th November. I need to know all the other information, but I can see that for 2018, your digestive system, your bowels, your stomach and your colon, C-O-L-O-N, are all asking for help. So make sure that if you have any symptoms or problems there, go and see the relevant doctor and get yourself seen too. There's one other area which I worry. That's regarding your blood circulation. You will tend to have a poor blood circulation and your feet probably are not happy for some reason. So look into that. Are they your shoes that are not good? Are they the way you walk? Are they just a poor blood circulation? So go brisk walking every evening to improve that part of it. Okay, well, this is the info I can give you. I look forward to you contacting me to have a go to email, go to Skype, look me up and send me a message or on Facebook as well. All the relevant details are written on the side of this video you're watching, just beneath it. And I look forward to your contact with me so that I can help you for your next five or six years in all areas of your life. Until then, happy birthday again. Thank you and goodbye.